Okay, we're going to move on to the next uh, primitive. Uh, we're going to move on to gear. Okay. So, what, if you notice the last uh, couple, uh, they actually, you don't need to use the numeric tab, uh, numeric button. Uh, it actually has its own set of parameters. Unfortunately, these ones here, you can't, you can't seem to view them in real time. You got to kind of just test them out and see what they look like. So we're just going to go with the default uh, settings and see what uh, see what this does. Um, if you notice, there's some interesting things like teeth, taper, inner radius, outer radius, thickness. Okay, so these inner radius is probably how big the hole is on the inside, and outer radius is how wide it is. But let's uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, so that is very, very cool. So the teeth setting would be for these guys, these, uh, these protrusions that are coming out. Okay, let's, uh, let's undo that. And uh, let's, uh, let's change, ooh, let's see what happens if we put 40 teeth. You should get the sure you'll get the idea of what's going to happen. So see? So that's pretty neat. You can change how much stuff the gear actually has. Now let's try messing around with some of the parameters. Um, let's go inner radius. Okay, now I think uh, Okay, now I know what it does. It's basically the inner radius. Let's go back again. I believe the inner radius is the these polygons here. How far they go out. Now, if I'm correct on this, what'll happen is is that this section, if I make it right now, it's a meter, and it says the outer radius of these these teeth here are 1.1 meter away from the center. So if we make this less than a meter, theoretically we can bring these in, and they'll just these teeth will be sticking out wider. So let's, uh, or they'll be staying right, 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 right where they are. Tongue twister. Okay. So let's try. Oh, 0.5 um, meters. Ha. There we go. Neat. Okay. So something like this would be a you know a pain to uh, could be very much a pain to model. Okay. And uh, there's all sorts of uh, neat things you can do with, with something like this. Um, if I were to hit the E key right now and T. Remove. I could bring that up, and I could actually hit the stretch tool, and bring some of this stuff in. So right now, okay. Right now we got some polygons that are flipped. Let's uh, let's go to the detail tab and let's hit. Uh, Unifying normals. That'll flip. Should flip most of them the correct way. Some of the stuff you might have to do by hand. Or worst case scenario, what you can do is just go to surface and hit. Oops. Here, hit double sided. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Okay, so. Like I said, these shapes aren't just limited to you know uh, what you what they the show up as, and and then the parameters inside you can actually start uh, manipulating them, and just with some basic uh, bevels and extrusions, and you can create some really complicated looking geometry very very fast. Okay, so let's uh, let's undo that. Okay, and so 
fine. Let's go back to create. Go back to gear. Let's go back to 16 and 1 meter. Okay. Something like this uh, very easily. Um, can be turned into something really cool. Um, e key, H for stretch. Oops, and bring that in. Okay, whoops. And T for move. And then hit E again, H for stretch. Okay, and then hit. E again, T for move, put it up on the inside, and detail, unify surface normals, see, check that out, that's a really cool shape, this would be great for sci-fi kind of stuff, do all sorts of stuff with uh, this, or like I said, it could be an interesting uh, uh, futuristic kind of building or something. So neat stuff, neat stuff. Okay, so we're going to move on to our next tool.